what's up guys this is tuber tutorials and uh back with another uh video this is going to be a how-to video and i'm going to show you how to sideload a a bar file on your blackberry playbook pretty much an android site an android already sideloaded bar file to your playbook there's tons of videos on youtube that shows how to do this but those videos when i watch them they're not really you know that simple they kind of show you some of them show you the harder way and make it difficult but it's really easy so i'm gonna you know try and make it as easy as possible so you can understand how to do it so uh the first thing that you need is you need the apps so you can go on google and you can search for um blackberry android bar files there's tons of websites that already have you know android files that are side loaded and ready to be um put on your playbook so once you have the apps that you want um you need the software to side load the apps on so uh the link for this is in the description and um the software that we're going to be using is our dd pb installer all right once again the link is in the description so once as you click that link it should take you directly to the download page, which is uh, this page right here. You just hit download, you run it, and you set it up. You should already know how to do that. But once you have the program installed on your computer, you uh, open up the program, DDP installer, whether it's on your desktop or your program files, and you're going to get this uh, screen right here. So we're going to leave this alone because now we need to go to our playbook and set it up so we can uh, run the the bar file on the playbook. So we're going to switch over to the playbook. Okay, so now we're on uh, the playbook. I'm going to show you how to um, set it up so you can side load the app on the playbook. So the first thing you need to do is to go down, go to your settings go to security and then where it says development mode you need to hit that and you turn it on and when it says enter your password um this is not a new password this is the same password that you use to um sign into your playbook a lot of people get confused as to what password they're talking about this is the password that you use when you um, sign into your playbook when your playbook is locked so I'm going to type the password in all right no matter if you see it hit OK and it's turned on and you're going to have this little this little um, um, icon here up top that tells you that your development mode is turned on and a word of advice you see how it says expires in 10 days make sure that as soon as you finish side loading your apps make sure you turn off the development mode because if you leave it on and those 10 days are gone you can no longer use development mode a lot of people don't talk about that in their videos but you need to make sure that whenever you're not side loading apps have that turned on so it automatically goes back to expires in 10 days because if you leave it on and those 10 days go away you can't use development mode uh, anymore so now we're going to go back to the computer and side load an app on uh, the playbook so once as you have uh, that mode on your playbook turned on and you have it connected to your computer next thing that you need to do is just hit scan and it's going to automatically scan your playbook's IP address. And then you're going to put in the password for your playbook. And then hit connect. And then it's going to connect your playbook to the DDPB installer. Just takes a few seconds. All right. And it's connected. See, it tells you your OS, your PIN, and the version that you're running. So once you have that, you're pretty much done. All you need to do now is to add your Android app. So I'm going to add an app that I already haven't put on my playbook as yet. 
Uh, let's see here. So you just click add and then you search the folders that you have it saved in. All right, let me find one that I, uh, let's see here. Hmm. Trying to find one that I don't have on there already. Let's see, Tumblr. All right, let's, let's add TweetDeck. Or oh, wait, let's see. Where is it, friends? All right, let's let's add TweetDeck. I don't think TweetDeck is on my playbook as yet. So let's add TweetDeck. So you just double click on it, and you check the box right here. And if you want to add more, you just click Add. You can add more if you want. So once you add it, you check the box, and then you click Install. And it's gonna take about a minute. Depends on the size of the app. All right, so right now it's installing the app on your playbook. All right, and once you see the, the, the static says OK, that means it's already installed. So all you got to do is just click Cancel. And now we're going to go over to our playbook and show you that it's installed okay so now we just um, installed TweetDeck on our playbook so now to show you guys that it works let's go to our apps here and there it is live in color if you want to say TweetDeck now let's open it up um, not every Android app is going to work with the playbook for example Skype doesn't work with it because Skype is not enabled as yet Neither is Photoshop Express, so not most of them will work. But there it is, TweetDeck. Uh, let me kind of log in here. I don't think I have an account. So let me do this sign up thingy. I just want to show you guys that, you know, it works. Just going to sign up uh, real quick here. Uh... see here password don't you guys see that all right and this if you have a tweet deck account then you can already use the account all right so let's it sign up I turned on this some more. And there we go. TweetDeck. TweetDeck.com allows notification. And I just got the email that is confirmed my signed up. Hit OK. Now it's telling me to add a Twitter account or you add Facebook account. Let me add a Twitter account. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me add to the account anyway uh, you guys can go through all of that but just to show you that it does work there it is um, live in color so now um, now you know how to do it it's very easy very simple so go ahead download your Android uh, side loaded apps install them on your playbook and uh, have fun I have more app reviews coming up including some Android app reviews so uh, stay tuned for those Rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.